very disrespectful. You know, um, you got a, a business here and then you got residents here. A plea for help in Pontiac, illegal dumpers making a mess of the streets. It's a problem neighbors have been complaining about for more than a year, and now the city is finally getting involved. Thanks for being with us. I'm Kimberly Gill. I'm Devin Skillian. Tonight at 6, we're getting a first-hand look at the problem and breaking down what's being done to try to stop it. Here's Megan Woods. From this rocking chair to a parts of a sink, even a bag of clothes are here sitting in this Pontiac neighborhood and the people living nearby want to know why, because they're sick of it. It makes no sense to me whatsoever. I mean, it's trifling. The smell in the summer, the bugs. I see this and I just shake my head. They say some of this trash has been here for a year and it's been worse too with mattresses and tires. The property is just a few yards from a dumpster and the street where garbage is picked up. Yeah. Neighbors don't know why it's happening, but have a hunch. I think it's mostly because they either are moving, getting evicted, leaving quickly in the middle of the night and you know, just throwing it somewhere. Either way, they want it to stop. They've called the city. Code enforcement manager Jack McIntyre wants to narrow down who is doing the dumping and why. Some of our concern is that this dumping might be coming from people from other communities. He says this is actually private property. They've reached out to the owners with a notice, but no response. We wrote them a court uh, ticket. We went to district court. They didn't show up in court. So now we're at the process where we're asking for a default judgment from the judge to enter the property, clean it up, and then it would be at the cost of the, the uh, private property owner. Pontiac's mayor says the city is ramping up efforts to combat blight. We've doubled our code enforcement personnel so that we can have inspectors out on a day-to-day -day basis. And the mayor told me he knows these are not the only people in Pontiac who are fed up. They're doing more demolitions and Taxpayers aren't going to be the ones paying for it. He says they are going to bill those property owners who aren't keeping up their property. Back to you. And Megan, I know it's not the only location with trouble. What are other Pontiac neighborhoods going through the same thing? What should they do? So the city says if you're in Pontiac and you're witnessing someone illegally putting down that trash to call them immediately because yeah. you heard the mayor, they have up their staff. So they have people ready to address it. Maybe you don't see it right away and you see that trash spread out there. They want you to reach out to them as well. So we're going to put that yeah. phone number, that email, that link on clickondetroit.com. You know residents want it to be a zero tolerance policy. That's for sure. All right, Megan.